In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use interactions to change the size of a widget. So I've moved on to the size page of the sample file. And here is our widget, which is called size change. So let's go about this. We need to add a new interaction. Again, we're going to be doing the mouse enter and the mouse out. So uh, we've chosen on mouse enter. And now this time we're choosing set size. Again, we're choosing this widget because this is the one that's affecting it. So its current size is 300 pixels width and 170 high. So we want this to be quite subtle. You don't want it going wee, you know, really huge and really small. So I'm just going to change that by five pixels. This shows where the um, where the size change happens from. We'll do it from the center because uh, otherwise it looks a little bit weird and uneven. And we're going to animate it. And again, I'm going to choose linear. Feel free to play around with those settings to see what creates a nice effect. So I'm going to click OK. So again, we're going to preview this to see that it works before we do anything else. OK, so there we go. It increases in size, but it doesn't decrease. So we need to add that interaction as well. Again, new interaction on mouse out. Zoom in so you can see this. And we want set size this widget. And you see that it's set it at the original size again, 300, 170. So we don't need to change that because we want it to animate back to its original size. We want it to happen from the center again and the animation I will do in a linear fashion, 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. Okay, so now let's preview this. There we go, we have a nice subtle little effect where it changes size. And because it's a dynamic panel um, and the setting is set to cover, uh, it just increases and decreases. Uh, nicely without changing the aspect ratio. You can see there's it's sort of a little zooming in effect as well, which is quite nice. Okay.